to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. It's amazing how that someone who has been well-cultured for many years, in one moment, can sit under the influence of one or more of these people and destroy their values completely. We need to trust God to have people in the arts and entertainment that can represent the purposes of God. And then finally, the seventh mountain is the mountain of business and finance. This is the mountain that funds every other mountain. Whoever controls the economic flow controls the loyalty of people within a territory. Have you wondered why there is massive kidnapping going on in this nation? And every time those who are the kidnappers are caught, they will tell you they've never enjoyed even 100,000 from that money. So where did the 10 million go to? Where did the 100 million go to? Because there is a central remittance system. You see that now. They understand the power of economy. This service is happening right here. But I am sure the elders will tell you there was a budget for this conference. We have to trust God for people who are genuinely born again. Who love Jesus with all their hearts. And will be trusted with the wealth of the kingdom. For the sake of his majesty. I made up my mind as a man of God. That I would never teach and raise a people who are just spiritually vibrant. I understand the power of economic influence. And I made a commitment that I would teach them the whole counsel of God. To the end that people be empowered. Empowerment is powerful. Hallelujah. I had the honor and the privilege of praying during the thanksgiving of one of the governors when he became a governor. I wasn't supposed to pray for him. I was in a meeting and then I was told he would be coming afterwards and they requested, they said, can I pray for him? I said, fine, that's, that's okay. I saw people in that church that, except for the love of Jesus, I should be saying, what are you doing here? Do you know why they came? Because a man of economic means was to be prayed for. There are many people you don't need to invite to church. Just be blessed. They will come. It is true. If you want to speak to people who are seated on that mountain, it will take economic empowerment to be able to communicate the gospel. That is the truth. Because you see, respectfully speaking, wealth comes with pride. So if you are communicating the gospel, you have to sustain some level of economic empowerment for wealthy people to listen to you. Seven mountains. What you call your purpose or your assignment is simply the role that you have to play in one or more of these. You are a witness, but what you call your assignment is simply, this is what I'm living with you tonight as we pray. God is counting on you. For some, the mountain of religion, like the preachers. For some, family, education, government, arts, entertainment, now, do you know why I'm saying this? Because there are several people who sense the call of God upon their life. But they think the only way to express the call of God is to be a man of God. It's a narrative that has been sold. And there are many people who are holding the mic today who should not be in fivefold fold ministry. They were only craving for an expression. And since they were told the only way to do ministry is to become a man of God. We have people who clearly you will know that this is not their assignment. But if everyone is now told that you can find expression right where you are, this is very powerful. We are going to pray. This is kingdom advance. Let me define it now and then we pray. What then is kingdom advance? 
Kingdom advancement refers to any and every scriptural means. Kingdom advance refers to any and every scriptural means deployed any and every scriptural means deployed to enthrone Christ and his purposes in the hearts of men and across every strata of human activities. Kingdom advancement refers to every and any scriptural means deployed to advance Jesus Christ and his purpose is to enthrone Jesus Christ and his purpose is first in the hearts of men and then across every strata of human activities. So the next time you say we are advancing the kingdom, what it means is we will employ every and any scriptural means that can be deployed Provided it will end up enthroning Jesus Christ in the hearts of men, evangelism, and across every strata influence. That is kingdom advance. So whether it is through your offering, through your singing, through your preaching, anything at all that is scriptural and can lead to the enthroning of Jesus Christ is kingdom advance. This is our mandate. The church is only as good as its ability to save sinners and to turn those people to become kingdom ambassadors, witnesses indeed. I'm yours, Jesus, I'm yours forevermore. I'm yours. Jesus, I'm yours forevermore. Whatever you want to do, Lord, you can do through me. Whatever you want to say, Lord, you can say through me. Whoever you want to bless, Lord, you can bless through me. Whoever you want to lift, Lord, you can lift. That is the song of a witness. Whatever you want to start, Lord, you can start through me. Whatever you want to end, Lord, you can end through me. For I'm yours. Jesus, I'm yours forevermore. I'm yours, Jesus, I'm yours. Listen, can I tell you, the ones who will enjoy longevity, the ones who will enjoy the divine backing of heaven are not just those who say, I am a Christian, but those who are actively involved in this kingdom come project. There are people who the devil will not come and oppress anyhow. The jealousy of God has been invested over them by reason of the role that they play in the kingdom. It is these people that the Bible says he suffered no man to do them wrong, that he even reproved kings for their sake, saying, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. You can be so involved in the program of God that he will invest his jealousy and his dedicated attention upon you. Can I tell you God loves everybody but he does not trust everybody. It is clear from scripture. We're wrapping up. This is my final session with us. 
And I'm hoping that I was able to contribute to fanning that flame within your spirit to be at the epicenter of God's program. For some of you, the call tonight is to stop playing religion. God is calling you into an experience that is deeper and richer than just looking for food or building a house. These things are wonderful, but your life must be at the center of kingdom come. Someday, this life will come to an end, whether we like it or not. And I can tell you, when you stand before him, it's not the amount of cars you bought, as important as that is. It is not the educational or academic it is not the, the entire, our definitions of success. Everything is only successful to the degree to which it reveals Jesus. Listen very carefully. We're wrapping up. Let this burn in your heart. This has been my drive. It's not ministry that is my drive. When it's all be said and done. There is just one thing that matters. Did I do my best to live for truth? Did I live my life for you? When it's all been said and done, all my treasures will mean nothing. Only what I've done for love's reward will stand the test of time. Lord, your mercy is so great that you look beyond our weakness and find precious joy in married clay, turning sinners into saints. And I will always sing your praise Here on earth and ever after For you've shown me heaven's my true home When it's all been said and done You're my life when life is gone At the end of your life, the hymn writer says, must I go an empty handed? Must I meet my savior so? He said, not one soul to greet him. Must I empty handed go? This is a call to go back to our lives and say how much of my life is truly in God's kingdom come project. For some of us, you need to go back and find from these seven mountains the area allocated for you. And for some of you, you may be saying, dear man of God, I've missed it, time has gone. Then you can invest in training those who are coming. Let their success be a consolation to any failures that you may think you had. You are not a failure if you raise a success. You only fail when both you and the ones after you fail. There are three things I'm going to do right now. One is I'm going to make an altar call. And then number two, I requested that we come with our prayer request. And just one minute very quickly, if I'll be given that privilege to speak over our requests. And then generally, just speak over our lives particularly those who are trusting God for healing and for strength. I don't know if we can have, um, whilst I'm making the altar call, please may I request, if you are yet for any reason to drop your prayer request, may I please request that you gently, without distracting, especially for those outside, may I request that you just wave it and there should be an usher. Thank you. There should be an usher or someone. There are still people waving. Please, let's, if we can just pick their request. No, you don't need to turn it. I'll just pray on it there. I want you to believe in the God of heaven who is about to arise for you. We're wrapping up. Let your heart be open. Mm, mighty God. Now you are here. 
seated inside and outside and you know that with all that I've said you need Jesus sincerely perhaps you were not here or you were not convicted enough the first time I made that call this is our last session Jesus is giving you a chance two calls in one you are saying I sincerely desire to make it right with Jesus tired of playing church tired of playing games I want to make this decision for Jesus and then you are here and you are saying apostle I love Jesus Christ but for some reason my life has plunged into a decline and I know that I'm not living as a Christian I need to get things right I need to rededicate my heart and my life to Jesus please may I request I just have one minute for you because of our time if you're here in the congregation I will want to plead with you to please just come and stand here very quickly as I make that altar call I'm going to count one to five for those coming outside um, once the stage here is filled then we'll have to create an extra stage there I know that there are people coming let's celebrate them as they come one Two, are you coming to Jesus? Win that war finally over your life and destiny. Young and old, male and female, Jesus calls you into a new and a rich experience. It says, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have life eternal. Are we celebrating them as they come? Very quickly. Hallelujah. Thank you very much. If there are still more people, you could create a space for them outside and they just follow through the screens. The front is full here. I salute you. Thank you for the courage to come. The Bible says, as many who will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. May I please request that you lift your right hand high above your head and pray this prayer from the depth of your heart. Mean it as you pray. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight I have heard your word. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you rose again for my justification right now I receive you as my savior I receive you as my lord and I receive you as my king I declare that eternal life is mine right now in Jesus name keep your hands lifted father thank you for these ones, they have made this declaration of faith as touching their salvation. I decree and declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over your life. I call you the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And I commend you to the ministry of the Holy Spirit and the word of God that you be grounded and established in righteousness in the name of Jesus. From tonight and hence you go forward ever and backward never for in jesus name i pray amen and amen someone direct me okay please all of you may i request that you move to my left which is your right let's celebrate them as they go the counselors hallelujah is it all right if i request that we stand please Creator of the universe, what can't you do? What can't you do? Jesus, the name above every name, name above every other name. What can't you change? What can't you change? What can't you change? Jesus. you to 
stand because we're about to pray and all of you who are following by way of television you are following uh, through the internet I want you to believe right now it says unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come hallelujah now I just want you to stand in faith as I pray whilst you're standing I want you to agree and to begin to declare that in the name of Jesus these Egyptians I see today I will see them no more forever go ahead and begin to pray just whilst you are standing I'm going to bow my knees and lay my hands upon this request and you don't have to kneel with me let me bow my knees like Paul would do to pray for the next one minute I'd like you to agree the God that has honored Equa Plateau Church for all these years is about to rise for you again In the name of Jesus the Bible says when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion he says we were like them that dream I'm about to make some declarations over this and I just want you to believe the Bible says what things soever ye believe ye desire he says when ye pray believe that thou receivest it and thou shall have it you can bring it please what things soever ye desire in the name of Jesus Christ the one who has honored Equa Plateau Church the one you serve and love and believe I decree and declare that everything written here that represents pain represents reproach represents any kind of discomfort I call upon my God right now in the name of Jesus, let it be turned to your testimony now. Let it be turned to your testimony now. Everything that is demonic, that is the reason for this to be put here, I call upon my God, who is also your God. May he arise on your case. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak to you, standing upon the grace of our fathers, the eldership in this church, that these Egyptians you see today, may you see them no more forever. May you see them no more forever. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want to pray for you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Um, I know that it's not something strange. Please, if there's anyone under the anointing close to you, just help them. We're not so that we don't get distracted. In the name of Jesus, I am praying. There are people who have not been able to move forward. He said, Moses, tell the people that they go forward. It is God that moves people forward, but he puts that word in the lips of men. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare go forward I decree and declare make progress with your life hallelujah I'm praying for you now but the Lord is putting in my spirit I'm seeing the number six and there are six people here there's been all kinds of oppression over your family I'm praying right now please I want you to help them I just saw fire the Lord is bringing deliverance I command every demon, every principality. This is the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every spirit behind the problems 
of people in this church every spirit behind the pain and the stagnation of God's people in the name of Jesus the son of the living God be free now for the Bible says he that the son sets free is free indeed I declare your liberty now in the name of Jesus Christ hear me every orchestration of darkness every legal claim that Satan is making over your life the Bible says blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us I stand upon the faith of our fathers and I decree and declare be delivered now activities of witchcraft and culture by the power that raised Christ from the dead be set free now Let me pray for your spiritual life. Everything that has brought your spiritual life down. You were not like this before. Now your fire has gone down. Now your word study life has gone down. May fresh fire come upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen to me. The Bible says, And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. The mother called him Jabez because she bore him in sorrow. And he got to a point where he said, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me. I'm praying for someone here that in the name of Jesus, that name Ichabod, that name Jabez, that means the departure of the glory, we change it right now over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I was contemplating whether I should share this vision or not because I didn't want to create any problem. But while I sat down there before I came up, I looked and I saw it was like a dark, a dark blanket just over this building. And the Lord said to lift it, that there is something that has pressed this. I don't know what it is, I'm just coming here. But I stand in the name of Jesus Christ and I decree and declare that everything that has tied down this church by the power that raised Christ from the dead lift up your heads oh ye gates lift up your heads oh ye gates over Equa Plateau Church lift up your heads oh ye gates and be ye lifted up everlasting doors in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. The plague of sudden death in this church, in the name of Jesus, it comes to an end now. Hallelujah. Hear me. Anybody who says, let us see what you will become, indeed they will see God lift you. Indeed they will see God honor you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let me pray for every home here. Everything that represents shame and reproach. It looks like you are serving God and people are saying, where is the evidence? May God use your results to answer them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Please hear me. There is something in the Bible called the book of remembrance. I am a product of the sacrifice of this church. Do you know there was a time where Mordecai saved the king and he was not rewarded? The Bible says that night could not the king sleep. May tonight be that night. He said, bring me the chronicles. And he said, who has rewarded this man? Many of you have raised others like me, but nobody has come back to reward you. May my God, who is a covenant keeping God, begin to visit you. Begin to visit you. Begin to visit you. Sunday school teachers, may my God visit you. Different departments, elders who have labored in this church, may this be the season where my God will visit you. Hallelujah. For the families that are here, 
I want to prophesy Psalm 112. It says, blessed is the man that feared the Lord, that delighted greatly in his command. He said, his seed shall be mighty upon earth, that the generation of the upright shall be blessed. He says, wealth and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness endures forever. I decree and declare, no family here will be an instrument of shame and mockery. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for the youth in this church. Let there be an emergence of young men on fire. Responsible young men and women. Dedicated young men and women. This church will never lack hands to hold up the banner of the gospel. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please hear me. Anybody that walks into this church assigned by Satan to bring down the work, we build a spiritual fortification and we decree and declare Equa Plateau Church, you will not die. Equa Plateau Church, you will not fall. Equa Plateau Church, you will not fail. It is from glory to glory to glory to glory. Finally, I decree and declare the spirit of unity like never before. The spirit of love. Hear me please. This night is a night that all grievances, all issues, if there be any, no matter how age long, when God, the Bible says you cannot put an old wine, a new wine in an old wine skin. For many of you here, maybe grievances with parents, grievances with elders. Listen, let me tell you this. When God is doing a new thing, you must be like Joseph. Let go. He said, this one thing I do, forgetting the things that are behind, I press. I press. I press. That every EPC member who is seen will be known by their love. Genuine love for Jesus and genuine love one for another. I decree and declare, may the spirit of love rest upon everyone. In the name of Jesus Christ. And that next year by this time, you will be a thousand times greater. May men and women of influence rise from this church. Influence even in government. Influence in business. Influence in media. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. I want to thank every one of you sincerely. Our elders, my wonderful parents, my dad and mom is here. Can you please help me bless God for them? Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And the entire committee that made it possible for me to come, it is an honor. I do not take this for granted. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to bring Jesus. I'm truly honored. May the Lord bless you. Let it be for us all, from glory to glory. I forgot I said I was going to pray for the sick. Would you spare me a minute for that? Please, if you are trusting God for healing, just lay your hands on your chest. We'll just do this in one minute. I believe in the healing power of Jesus. I am a product of his healing ministry. I can see online prayer requests. Someone is saying healing for my dad from prostate cancer deliverance for my brother from every bad vice Jesus Christ still heals it is true that he does hallelujah let me just pray that prayer in one minute because there are people here who the doctors are doing their best and we pray that God will empower them to continue but there are many infirmities whose origin is from the spirit whether it is high blood pressure whether it is cancer diabetes bone conditions, eye conditions, the Bible says he healed them all. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, I bring life and healing to your body. Life and healing to your body. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. I declare that that pain leaves right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
For some of you, you may need to go and see a doctor even after this conference and you will find out that things have changed. I decree and declare it is so for you according to the word of the Lord in Jesus' name. Thank you so very much and may the Lord bless you and God church. Please put those hands together for Jesus. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashkana Kata Branda Katekatos. Kate Branda Katapa Kotosko to break a take and let up. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.